let's look at uh, some of the common enterprise applications or rather a business application any business generally used which are reasonably sized suppose uh, if a business is ha having about uh, 100 plus uh, employees then it is considered something like a mid-sized uh, segment then um, they have to uh, maybe it could be a retail business or a manufacturing business so they need to have system and process in place to cater to the requirements so the business is the center point so uh, you might have systems which needs to track the finance i mean finance is where all your uh, profit loss uh, has to be um, has to be derived out of the business for a time period so you need to have the finance part you need to have uh, the purchasing part when you have the purchasing part the just opposite to that is the uh, sales part so um, yeah you might have the crm and sales so these two are just opposite purchasing and sales and then if you are into manufacturing activity there need to be associated system for manufacturing some of the companies might not manufacture then probably they need to have a retail system suppose um, a retail showroom they might not be involved in in manufacturing it it's a retail showroom then this mod uh, this system might not be there but uh, some of the other systems uh, retail related system might be there so if it is a manufacturing then you have a manufacturing system which is closely linked with the inventory management and there is also something called as mrp material resource uh, planning so finance purchasing manufacturing inventory mrp all this in case if you are a manufacturing uh, company and um, yeah job job casting and all is linked to manufacturing some of them project management is altogether a different segment not all will use it particularly like a services company it services company or a construction company will use project management module so um so that is how it is so all this uh over here if you look at it uh, all this over here uh, and as well as uh, over uh, here all this are said to be ERP systems so these are considered to be uh, ERP system um, and uh, there is also CRM uh, system um, so sales and marketing uh, once you implement an ERP system they can go for a CRM system also and on top of it you might have business intelligence and analytics so you need to one need to dig in into the transaction which has happened uh, the history which has happened um, maybe when they need to find out which pro uh, product is selling well in the market so analysis need to be made so if it's if it's a kind of a small company it's far more easier but it's a big company catering to pan pan india or pan globe or something with multiple countries then they need to have efficient business intelligence system one product which is selling in a particular company might not sell well another company this all this all happens a product which is selling very well in a particular country may not sell well in another country there's no point in that case um, to manufacture a product which is selling well in country x if it is not selling well in y then there is no point and that is where there need to be a business intelligence to find out the product which is um, selling well in the country why and they need to appropriately provision for manufacturing of that product in that country or probably they can um, import from a country x uh, if they have surplus capacity all this is part of business intelligence so first is the transactions needs to be recorded that is where is the history uh, happens that is transaction history which is 
on the ERP system and then comes the business intelligence system and CRM sales and marketing um, is a link um, with the ERP system as well as the because that is where uh, you need to have um, projections to be made for your sales and marketing. So in that case the business intelligence because you do analysis and that's where it is called as OLAP system, online analytical processing and whatever the transactions, whatever the business transaction that is critical. Business transaction uh, has a statutory because if you are making profit then naturally you need to pay appropriate taxes to the government. So that is very essential. So business you may have business I mean um, the government department or statutory require requirements government is not bothered about the OLAP part but they are concerned about uh, the OLTP part um, because you need to record your transaction between the um, between two business entity you need to have the transaction and uh, probably there are some issues due to warranty then there could be legal issues so all this the country governance um, or the country statutory bodies be it uh, tax authority or um, the re re um, regulatory bodies are more concerned about the OLAP system sorry the online transaction processing system that is OLTP system rather than the OLAP system. OLAP system is, becomes very critical for the company to plan uh, to find out how the transaction happened and plan for the uh, future. So OLAP is more um, important for the internal use for the company and it is much more confidential whereas old OLTP system uh, is for not only for the company but um, uh, in the market they operate because there are reg there are going to be regulatory bodies like the um, who, like the government which takes care of the um, corporate taxes uh, any rules and regulation they are more bothered about the OLTP system. So business applications if you look at one is online transaction processing that is enterprise resource planning application the other one is online analytical processing which is uh, uh, which is for the uh, internal use of the company towards better planning. So that's where um, you have all this uh, business analytics comes. The business analytics uh, again that's a totally uh, different topics. I mean you need to have um, based on the uh, analysis you have made you make projections what is going to be the um, future trend that is where the analytics uh, plays a critical role. So now if you look at the OLTP system this is how it looks I mean whenever there is a business transaction I mean you have a database you have an application layer which is a, um, a application software it could be on premises it could be cloud based application and all the users interact with uh, um, interact with the business application and that data gets recorded on the database and if you look at it it's all it could be mysql database or it could be oracle database erp system always use relational database uh, management system rdbms they don't use um, uh, kind of a no sql database they don't use they use sql uh, database which is that is the uh, relational database system so the interface to the database is the application, application um, I mean the users interact with the application record the data and the recorded data gets into the database and that is what is the online transaction processing. So all they have all the modules like HR, marketing, finance, supply chain and the entire um, gamut of system is called the uh, ERP system. And then comes the analytical processing. So, uh, I mean, um, many corporate 
it is so heterogeneous there are different uh, it's always highly unlikely a corporate might have just one erp system because uh, over the period of time they could have a web based application to get the orders they could have uh, a legacy system um, maybe for a small uh, market they might be using a spreadsheet itself where uh, erp is small market or a small country where their operation is less they might not use an erp they might use the spreadsheet maybe two transactions uh, per month they use a spreadsheet and this spreadsheet is sent later to the business headquarters they probably they will enter that uh, into the erp system so what will happen in the analytical processing is that uh, there are different source system they just extract the data transform and load into the database and then uh, they use appropriate reporting olap reporting there are olap tools on which um, they run the report and then find out uh, what is the um, maybe they find out what is the sales particular sales of the particular product on a particular day and then compare with the what had happened the previous month or previous year so, so those comparisons are made as well so online analytical processing olamp um, there are um, process in which it works is extraction transformation loading into the database that's where consolidation happens and then reporting uh, happens as well so these are segregated so the reason if you look at this um, tabular column gives you much more details as why you need to uh, segregate uh, so OLAP information to support day-to-day -day service this is to uh, OLAP uh, I mean OLTP uh, is for day-to-day -day service and OLAP that is analytical reporting is to analyze the history of data and if you go a little deeper into it the database design I'm not getting deeper but this is a technical term if you are uh, from a background of database this is a normalized database whereas uh, with the uh, OLAP reporting uh, it's uh, highly uh, denormalized you have to have something called fact tables uh, and then you have um, different um, dimensions and measures so uh, that's a denormalized de one uh, so analytical processing um, it's denormalized and disparate multiple sources all this as I said if you look at uh, the previous screen you extract the data and load it into a single source so here it could be disparate multiple level data stored in the transaction data needs to be um, integrated so example for OLTP like uh, SAP or Oracle ERP or all um, OLTP whereas analytical there are reporting tools like Cognos or uh, OBIE but as we progress this line is getting narrow and narrower I mean uh, with the higher speed processing I mean in the future it can so happen like with the higher processing capacity of the servers um, with the cloud based system this uh, segregation uh, might not be there this is there for the last 20 years starting in 1990s till uh, now it is present but maybe 10 years down the line now we are in 2022 maybe around 2030 is what there will be a single system which can do both because that is because the server capacity as we progress is it is increasing day by day and um, with the better server capacity there could be one just one system which could cater both OLTP and OLAP as well thank you